Now in this part I want to teach you how you can do calculation with the help of valve star sizing. So please come to uh, my laptop. As you can see the first window uh, that you can just see the time that you open up your software is a thing just like that. It's a kind of you know welcome dialogue and then you need to choose what uh, you do uh, need. The first item actually is just related to create new sizing so that's for sure you need to just choose this one. After that there is another uh, window for you and you need to write the name of your uh, tag. It was PSV21001 uh, 2 sorry uh, I can just you know check it here too. Yes it was 1 I made a mistake okay. After that uh, the medium uh, was just vapor. If you just uh, put the cursor down you can just find out that there is no vapor item so I can just consider it as a gas. So I do calculation based off the gas mode and about the standard sizing for sure you have uh, 520. If you want to do calculation related for cold differential test pressure you can just put this uh, mark too otherwise you can just uh, clear it. It depends on you. So I do not need to do this one so I just you know remove it. After that about the reaction force, noise and the other things if you want to have them you can just again put a uh, I mean a mark on them. So for example I'm just doing the calculation based on API 520 and I need to know about the reaction force I mark this one. If you want to know about the noise you can have this one. But about actually you know fire case because this item is just related for safety and process department and the instrument engineers do not deal with this one. I do not mark uh, this one because actually if you just mark it uh, you will be asked some uh, information and data about the vessel and about the drum and about uh, you know uh, liquid evaporation and those items which are totally you know based on the process department and safety one. So that's why I do not mark this one. So after that you need to click on next tab. As you can see here you need to choose a, uh, I mean gas uh, or you need to actually uh, find one of the substance or the fluid that you have here. Maybe again same as the previous item that I just talked about the control valves. Maybe uh, the substance that you have here is not in this category. If not you can just go through the new tab and click on it. You can see another window then you need to choose new gas and then here you need to start and uh, actually write the name of your substance and then you need to for example complete the formula. Finally you need to talk uh, you need to actually uh, feel the related molar mass here and actually here, here the K factor is related for a specific heat ratio and finally you need to uh, feel the compressibility factor here too and then you need to click on apply and then OK. Before actually starting this calculation I uh, did something and uh, actually I just put uh, the substance that I have here it was just hydrocarbon it's the light end so I myself previously inserted to this uh, item so I just choose it and then click on select. You can just see this one that the specific rate ratio is uh, 1.125 and compressibility factor is just 0 0.829 same as a thing that previously we had it in our data sheet too we can just check it again. This one is heat, a specific heat ratio and this one is compressibility factor. I told you, you know I had just inserted uh, in this software. Then you just choose it and then you need to click on next one too. So for this item the first item is related for maximum allowable working pressure. About this item I can just tell you that this item is just uh, related to the mechanical pressure of your drum. So this uh, matter or this item is just totally the mechanical one. If this item has just mean, has been mentioned in your data sheet you can just fill up your software accordingly. If not it's not important you can just leave it empty. 
it doesn't matter at all. But I can just tell you that, you know, this item on I mean, maximum allowable uh, working pressure is totally just related to the mechanical designing of your tank or your vessel. Sometimes it is considered around 10% or 15% more than uh, the design pressure of your fluid inside of the tank. Okay, so I do not have it in my data sheet. I just leave it empty. About the set pressure, first, again, we need to uh, convert the uh, dimension or the unit. Uh, previously, as I can just remember here, let me just check it very fast. The thing that we already had was bar gauge. So this is bar gauge. And you can just see this one. Actually, I know I'm just checking that from my uh, tablet, but you can just see that the set pressure is just based on bar gauge. So, and this one is 6.3. Okay.